Right, I think I've got a plan on how we can find a way to get out of doing the afternoons and move on to the mornings. Oh, really? What is it this time? What rubbish have you come up with now? Well, why don't we ask ex-CBBC presenters for their advice? That's a surprisingly good idea. All right, well, why don't we start off with um, Formula One commentator Jake Humphrey. He uh -huh. used to present for CBBC and is a very good mate of mine since I did the Red Button CBBC Formula One coverage. Excellent. I'll Get give him touch. a call. I'll put him on speaker. OK. Hello? Hi, Jake, it's Dan. Dan who? D Dan Clarkson. Dan Clarkson who? <laughs> He's always like this. <laughs> that, that's all I've got, Jake. It's my name. Um, I present for CBBC. All oh, right. You're the one that isn't that talented Jeff. Yeah. What can I do you for? Uh, I was wondering, Jake Humphrey, um, if, if I wanted to move to do summer mornings instead of summer afternoons, what should I do about that? Yeah, sure, I can help you with that. Oh, good, good. Cheers. Oh, look at that. A car. A really fast car. Great, Jake. Great. My word, that's really fast. Is it, oh, Jake? another good. fast car. Good, Jake. Another fast yeah, car. Focus, Jake. Wow, what a fast car. Jake. Look at that fast car. Jake. Another fast car. Jake. Car. Jake. Hello, Jake. Jake? That was your friend Jake. Was it your best buddy, Jake? Yeah, I don't really know him at all. <laughs> yeah, it turns out. I wonder if Sonali knows how we could get out of uh, presenting afternoons. Sonali, how do we get to mornings? Any ideas? CBBC. I will have you know, Sonali, that me and Jeff get out of bed by one o'clock every day without fail. That is afternoon, because it's in the afternoon. Touché, Sonali, so you win this round. Anyway, Dan and I uh, decided to try and get in touch with some old CBBC presenters to try and find out how to get out of presenting summer afternoons and present summer mornings instead. Now, I wrote to a guy called Michael Underwood. He presented from 1999 to 2002, and he's written back. What, already? It was a fax. What's a fax? Shall we read it? <laughs> Dear Jeff, thank you for your letter. It's so nice to hear from someone. Anyone. After I left CBBC, I retired to a lighthouse at Land's End, where I live all alone. Ooh. All alone. All alone, that is, except for my talking walnuts. Talking walnuts? OK! Well, it appears Michael Underwood's gone a little bit bonkers. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let's give it a chance here. Come on, see what he says. He could answer our question. I don't know the answer to your question, but I've sent you some talking walnuts. Maybe they might be able to help you. All my love and hugs and kisses, Michael Underwood. Yes, it would appear that life hasn't been too kind to Mr. Underwood since he left CBBC. Who cares, Jeff? He sent us talking walnuts. Hello, walnuts. You all right? Dan. They're not very chatty, Jeff. No, I think they only talk back if you've gone a bit wrong. Mm. Oh, there's more to the letter. P.S. You two sound like such nice young men. I think we should be friends. Best friends forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. In fact, by the time you finish this letter, I should be standing outside your office. Ah! 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 Michael Underwood's gone crazy. He's outside the office. He's going to come in. What do we do? What do we do? I don't know. I don't know. Walnuts, what should we do? Oh, watch Hacker. All right, we'll do that. Yeah. It turns out it wasn't a crazed Michael Underwood trying to get into the office. But, oh joy of joys, it was Nigel Smith and Captain Crazy. Yo, yo, yo! Uh, ha, ha, ha! It's me, Nigel Smith! When I say Nigel, you say Smith! Nigel! Ooh. What are you doing Ni here? Ugh. Well, I can't tell your problem, can I? Yeah, I seriously doubt you could help. We're looking for old CBBC presenters who can tell us how we can get out of doing the summer afternoons, do the summer mornings instead. They're the only people who can help. Yeah. And you ain't a CBBC presenter, bucko. Yeah, yeah I am. I mm. present the BBC's flagship Children's Saturday show, mm. don't I? Mm. No, you try to, but Ed and Outcher always interrupt your transmission, don't they? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm better than him. And that sparky cucumber yeah. put together. Oh, really? What makes you so great? Boy. With games. Whoa. You've got games! We've got. Whoa. Do you want to play a game? Let's play a crazy game! Alright, yeah, we'll play, play a game. game. Let's like play a game. game. That's good. Oh, um. Let's, let's play the pencil game! You, you've got to drop a pencil and pick it up again. Whoa. Go! Now that, that, that's rough. Hey, crazy! You haven't done patching crazy! I've 
ever seen. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, see if you can do any better. Come on, Captain Crazy, we're leaving! Mm. So, Captain Crazy, how how are you doing? Whoa. Really? Um, have you have you got any idea how we could uh, get out of doing the summer afternoons? War, war, war. Make him go away, Jeff. He's scaring me. I'll try reasoning with him. Right. Um, you, you really don't have to stick around, Captain Crazy. You can go if you want. War. Really? That's very interesting. Call cool security, Dan. I'm one step ahead of you, Jeff. <laughs> His sorcerer's apprentice. <laughs> yeah, it's that pirate again. He's back. What's he yeah, doing? Yeah, can you get rid of him? War. Thank you very much. Yeah, he's... Well, luckily, Captain Crazy just ended up wandering off muttering to himself, but uh, we didn't get any closer to finding out how we can switch from presenting the summer afternoons to the mornings. Well, hopefully, someone like Ed and Ouch will just interrupt our transmission and tell us what to do. Oh, that's your new plan, is it? Yes. We hope they interrupt us. Yes. That's not how it works, Dan. If we wanted them to, they would never, ever, 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 ever... Oh, see? Hello there! Hello, guys! Do you need a bit of help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to know how we can get off presenting the afternoons and present the mornings instead. Oh, oh right. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we can help you with that. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, not for free, though. Oh. It needs to be a mutually beneficial arrangement if you catch my drifts. Mm. Mm. I'm not catching his drift. What's he talking about? I would assume he wants a plug. That's oh, right, yeah. Plug for our oh, show. Yeah. yeah, so we've got an agreement, gentlemen? We agree. Plug away. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. OK. Make sure you watch our show on Saturday, BBC Two, 10 o'clock. It's going to be brilliant. The yeah, uh, make sure you watch it on Sunday as well on the CBBC D. channel, 10 o'clock. Transmission Impossible ah. with Ed and Ouch. Oh, right, 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 right. That, that's quite enough. That's your turn to help us. Huh? Oh, right, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh. Uh, have you tried asking the big, big cheese really nicely? Yes. Uh, have you asked Jake Humphrey? He's a lovely man. Oh, dear. Yes. yes. Uh, Michael Underwood, you asked him? Yes. yes. Oh, can I help you then? Oh, I was asking about him to look off. Oh, you can't say that. Well, well, well what's, what's, what's he saying? I wanted to find out about some duck ass. No, no, they're not ready to find the duck. Huh? But find the duck? What do you mean? Uh, uh, nothing, I didn't say anything. Well, I did say something, uh, but uh, I'm not saying anything now. My lips are sealed forever. <laughs> oh, really? Sealed forever? Not saying anything else? So, um, I guess you wouldn't like to uh, relive the glory days and introduce Tracy Beaker. Oh, all right, then. Here's Tracy Beaker! <sighs> oh, it's just like the good old days. He is good, isn't he? He's brilliant. Love him.